Have you ever wanted a physical key for your computer to start? If you have any spare USB pen drive, then you can make that pen drive into a physical key that locks and unlocks your computer. So please watch this video till the end for full information. Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a USB drive as a key to unlock your computer. Windows has a built-in utility called SysKey that allow you to set up startup key that you can store into a USB drive. Okay, it's also known as SAM lock tool. For that, you have to first plug your pen drive into your computer. And you have to open computer management by typing over here. Click on computer management. From the left side panel, you will find disk management. Click on this. And here you will find your pen drive. So you will find my pen drive over here and it's showing drive age. So what you have to do, right click on this and click on change drive letter and paths. So here you will find my pen drive is showing H drive. So you need to assign the drive letter A to USB flash drive. Okay. So for that you have to click on change. From this drop down menu you have to select A and click on OK. Some program that rely on drives letter might not run correctly. Do you want to continue? Click on Yes. Then you will find your drive letter has been changed to A. So why I am using A? Because this key is so old that it only stores the startup key on the air drive only. That's why we made our USB drive letter A. Okay. So after that you have to close this window. And now you have to run one command. Now you have to open run command by pressing Windows plus R on keyboard. And here you have to write syskey S Y S K E Y and click on OK. So do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC? Click on yes. Here you will find securing the Windows account database page will open and you can see encryption enable is selected. So keep it as a selected and then click on update and you will find secure key is open under the system generated password you will find two options. One is store startup key on floppy disk requires a floppy disk to be inserted during system start and second one is store startup key locally stores a key as a part of the operating system and no interaction is required during the system startup. So in this case, I have to click on store startup key on floppy disk because I have to select a pen drive for that and make this pen drive assigned A and then after that click on OK. Insert a disk into a drive that will be used to save the startup key. Click on OK. Then the startup key has been saved to drive A. This disk will be required to start the program. Start the system. Click on OK. The account database startup key was changed. So then click on OK. Now you can check from my this PC options. You will find my pen drive and under this pen drive start key dot key. That means one key file has been generated. OK. So you have to keep this file in your pen drive and uh, now you need to restart your PC. Okay, you have to close this. Now you have to restart your PC. So every time when your computer boots up, you will get this dialog box which requires you to insert your USB drive. See, this is the dialog box. So insert the disk 
and click on OK. Then only you will be able to enter your Windows skin. So without the USB dive, Windows will not start up. You will have to insert the USB dive to login. For that you have to just one thing keep in your mind that you need to keep your USB dive in a safe place. Otherwise you are not able to enter your computer. So this is how you can use your USB key as a secure unlock key for your PC. Just like a physical key. If you don't want this type of login process and you want to get back to your old conventional way to login into your window skin then you have to just get back to the whole process. So for that you have to just press windows and R on the keyboard and press enter. The run page will open. From here you have to type sys key and click on ok. And from here you will to click on update and under system generated password you have to click on store startup key locally. Click on ok. So from here you have to click on ok. Account database startup key was changed. So click on ok. So, so this is how you just revert back to your old process. Hope this information will help you. If you really like this video, please do like, subscribe and share it with others. And of course, press the bell icon to get the new video update. Thank you and see you in my next video.